To Hindus, there's not one god, there are millions. Busy little thoroughfare. In the holy city of Varanasi, I'm meeting historian Binda Paranjape to find out how Hindus see their gods. At every corner of the lane, and just you see anywhere, and you see a shrine, and no corner they can leave without having a god there. So like we have got this small little shrine here, mm -hmm. and it has got that elephant-headed god, Ganesha. Ganesha. Yeah. So God removes the obstacles. Removes obstacles. Yeah. Hindu deities come in many forms. Some are male, some female. Some are part human, part animal. Each one has its specific powers. So she's the goddess of disease. So disease? When, yeah, so when you're deceased, your body gets inflamed. Mm. Then you invoke her okay. and she sends the cool breeze right. and the body gets cool. All right. Here's a question for you. You've got a choice of how many? Millions. Of Millions of gods. How do you choose? Usually it's the family. The family, each family has got one family deity and that is passed on to the next generation. Or sometimes in the times of distress, uh, one goes to a god and say, or goddess, that please take me out of this difficult times and forever I'll worship you as my personal god or goddess.